everybody. I hope you are all keeping really, really well wherever you are in the world right now. If this is your first time to the Cupcake Gemma channel, then hello to you guys and welcome to the channel. Here you can find all sorts of cake recipes, cookie recipes, cupcake recipes, and heaps of other awesome recipes for delicious sweet treats. So if baking is your thing, then you've come to the right place. And if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the button just below. And if you click on the bell next to that, you'll get a little notification into your email inbox every time we upload a video um, and if you like this video then please give us a thumbs up because it really does help us anyway what are we going to be baking today well I am currently drinking this delicious caramel latte which Georgia and the gang have made for me now not only do we make the best coffee in London we also make the best caramel in London and you put the two together and you've got the best caramel latte so come down and get one if you haven't been to see and do so we'd love to have you here but I'm not very good at making coffee in fact they don't really let me near the coffee machine because you never know what might happen but I am very good at making cupcakes so I thought today I'd show you guys how to make a caramel latte cupcake so let's head on upstairs to the bakery and let's get baking all right so a caramel latte cupcake is obviously going to involve quite a lot of caramel so I'm going to make that first so that we've got time for it to cool down and thicken before we need to use it. So we've made caramel a lot on this channel so I'm just going to whiz you through it but if you want to know a little bit more I'll put a link to our caramel masterclass in the description box below. But what you're going to need is a nice heavy base saucepan and into it we're going to add 230 grams of caster sugar but you can also use granulated sugar for this, no problemo. And then to that we're going to add 125 mils of water. So we're just going to pop that in and now we're going to bring this to the boil. So we're going to turn our hob on and let it simmer away. It's going to bubble, bubble, bubble and we want to keep it bubbling without stirring. Try not to stir because it can crystallize and we're going to keep it bubbling until it gets to a lovely deep amber color. And now we're going to very carefully take this off the heat and we're going to pour in 250 mils of double cream. Now, this is really hot, guys, and I'm not joking. Like, this is super dangerous, and if it gets on you, it's going to hurt so bad. So, nice big old wooden spoon. We're going to get stirring, and we're going to very slowly pour in a little bit of cream, and it's going to go super bubbly and crazy. So you can stop pouring, keep stirring, wait for those bubbles to kind of die down a little bit and then we'll add a little bit more cream and once it's stopped going totally crazy you can just gently stream in the rest of your cream et voila looking absolutely delightful that is the perfect caramel if I do say so myself. <laughs> so lastly to this, I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of vanilla. Remember, you can get this for yourself from cupcakegemma.com if you wanna grab some. I'm gonna go for about half a teaspoon. Just give that a little stir through. And now we're gonna just pour it into a bowl just to help it cool down a little bit more quickly. and we're just gonna leave this to cool down. We don't wanna put this in the fridge right away because it's super hot and it will make everything in your fridge really hot as well. So we'll let it cool down and then we'll put it in the fridge to thicken up and we'll get on with making our cupcake sponge. And I know a lot of you are not super keen on coffee. Now that is totally okay. You can just replace the coffee with some milk, but I would urge you to give this a go because yeah, it has got espresso in it, which is very strong, but there's so much sugar and delicious rich butter that it really pulls the kind of bitterness away from the coffee and you're left with this really smooth flavor that's what I think you should do but if you really don't like it then fine I'm not gonna be able to change your mind so we're gonna do an all-in-one cupcake batter here so as usual we've got 125 grams of self-raising flour and then not quite as usual we've got 100 grams of caster sugar but also 25 grams of dark brown sugar now this is just going to add a little kind of caramel note to your cupcake sponge if you don't have brown sugar then don't worry at all just 125 grams of caster sugar and then finally to this 
just a quarter teaspoon of some bicarbonate of soda. And that's quite important in this recipe because it just helps give these cupcakes a little bit of a lift because we are doing an all-in-one method. So we're just going to sift this into our mixer bowl. And into here, we're going to add 125 grams of soft, unsalted butter. As you can see, this is how soft it is. It's totally spreadable, but it's not melted. Okay, so this is going to go straight on in, along with two large, free-range, if possible, organic, even better, eggs. <laughs> we'll pop those in and then we'll get this onto our mixer and we're going to do an initial mixing on a medium speed for about 30 seconds just to combine all of our ingredients. And now it's time to add our espresso. So if you've got a nice coffee shop near you, then I'd run down there and get some espresso. If not, then you can just use some instant coffee granules. So you want about, um, we're gonna do a tablespoon and a half of coffee and you wanna make this punchy. So go for about a teaspoon of your instant coffee granules. I've got loads that I've got the guys to make downstairs, but I really wanna use my tiny, not very useful mini jug. So I'm just gonna measure mine in there. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to pour that in. Obviously, I've let this cool down. This isn't hot because if it was hot, we'd melt the butter. And again, we're going to mix this for another 30 seconds. Now, this is nearly ready, but what we like to do at this stage is just take the mixer off and give the paddle and the bottom of the mixer a good old scrape around because you're pretty much always gonna have little bits that are not fully combined. You can kind of see here, it's just a bit kind of paler around the edge. So give this a good scrape around. And then we're gonna go back on the mixer for another 20 to 30 seconds until our batter looks really lovely and kind of fluffy in texture. So you can see how kind of silky and smooth this batter looks. And I mean cupcake batter normally looks silky and smooth, but when it's got coffee in it, it's just even silkier. So this batter is ready. Making this kind of all-in-one cupcake method is honestly the easiest, quickest thing you can do. And it makes the best cupcakes as well. So I've got myself a regular 12-hole cupcake tin here. I'm just gonna fill it with regular cupcake cases. Again, you can actually get these exact ones from cupcakedemo.com. They're the ones that we use here at the Crumbs and Doilies Bakery. So you can have cupcakes just like us. Now I'm using my spoons, um, really small spoons today. <laughs> I'm really sure what I was thinking there. So I'm probably gonna put a couple of teaspoonfuls in each one. We want it to be about two thirds to three quarters full but it's really great to use a piping bag for this too because you can see exactly how much you've got in. But this is my homage to Gemma. She taught me this way. So once you've got all your batter into your cupcake tin, just spend a little bit of time making sure that they look nice and even. I think that's gonna do for me. And now I've got my oven preheated to 165 degrees C, which is fan assisted. Remember that the non-fan assisted heat is in the description box below along with the full ingredients list. So we're gonna pop these in for about 18 minutes. We're gonna do the good old finger test to make sure they're done. I'll show you what that looks like when we get there. So let's get these out of the oven. 
They smell absolutely incredible. Coffee cake really is one of my all time favorite things. And I really want to do like a classic coffee and walnut cake with you guys. So what is this finger test? We're going to very gently, because they are hot obviously, we'll go to this one over here. We're going to press it on top and you can see how it just springs back to life. And that is the sign that they are done. If they sink and they stay sound, they don't want to spring back, you want to leave them in the oven for about a minute at a time until they are done. So we're just going to leave those behind just to cool down and we'll get on with making our icing. Now I'm going to do a caramel and coffee buttercream. Again, leave the coffee out if you don't want to. Um, so I'm starting with 250 grams of really softened unsalted butter. It's got to be soft because we need this to whip up. We want lovely airy buttercream. We don't want that stodgy waxy stuff. So get whipping. We're going to whip this on its own for about four or five minutes. So once that has had a good whip up and you're left with this really pale, not really butter looking butter anymore, it is time to add some icing sugar. So I've got 400 grams of icing sugar, which I already sifted. And I'm actually gonna give this a little stir with my spoon because this icing sugar is really puffy. And ah, see? <laughs> if I just put the mixer on. I don't know, you, you won't even be able to see me because Sam's camera is going to get totally covered. So a little tip here, if you have got icing sugar like this, you can just give it a gentle stir just to combine with the butter first. And then once it's almost combined, a bit like this, we can put it back onto our mixer and get it mixing for another kind of three to four minutes, again, till it's nice and fluffy. And then we'll do the exact same with the rest of the icing sugar. Now, just look at this. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful and fluffy and light. Now, if your buttercream doesn't like look like this yet, then just keep on whipping because it will get there. So, we are gonna make this caramelly coffee -y, but I just wanna take out just a couple of small spoonfuls because I want some white buttercream for part of our decoration. So, I'm just taking out a little bit here and we'll put that to one side. If you're gonna make this in advance, then you just wanna make sure you put it in a Tupperware or put some cling film over the bowl because it does dry out and you'll get like a horrible crispy topping to your buttercream. So anyway, I've got my caramel here. You can see how thick it's gone. If we kind of roll it around, it looks gorgeous. I put this in the fridge just to completely chill and get nice and thick. And I'm gonna start off by putting, mm, oh my God, it looks so good. <laughs> I'm going to pop in about, I'm going to go with three tablespoons because all of this is kind of to taste, right? You can follow my instructions, but also you can just add a little bit and taste it and see what you reckon because I'm also going to add in some coffee now and I'm going to go for a full tablespoon because I love the stuff. Oh, look at it. Here we go. Again, make sure your coffee is cold before you add it in. And we're gonna start this off on a slow speed and then we're gonna whip it in at a medium to high speed just for a couple of minutes. So I did have a little taste of this just to make sure it was right for me and it is perfect for me. I made Sam try it as well. And it was good, right? Yeah. <laughs> So this is ready. My cupcakes have nearly cooled down. They're still a little bit warm, so we don't really want to ice them just yet. So I'm gonna have a little clean down and then we'll get ready for decorating. <laughs> Oh, 
these are looking absolutely gorgeous already and they're just cupcakes. I say just cupcakes, there's no such thing. The color of them is so absolutely beautiful. But it is time to decorate. So we're gonna start by filling them because we've got all this caramel to use and we're not gonna let it go to waste. So I've got my apple cora here so that I can chomp out little holes like this. This is such a good tool. I feel like you can probably buy like a really expensive tool to do this, but you don't need it. You just need an apple gora. <laughs> if you don't have one though, you could just use a piping nozzle or you could scoop the center out with a teaspoon. So we'll chomp our holes and then we'll fill them right to the brim with our caramel. So now we're going to ice our cupcakes with our coffee caramel buttercream. And I've got a nice large piping bag here with a large round piping nozzle on the end. But of course, as usual, you can use whatever piping nozzle you like. And I just broke my rules. I always like to give this a good whip before we use it, especially if you have made your icing in advance, um, because we whip so much air into it when we're making it. You end up having quite a lot of air bubbles in there. So it's always a good idea to just give it a little whip to make it lovely and smooth again. And just get all of this in. If you've got a friend to help you do this, then that's great. Otherwise, you have to use your body as your friend. Right. <laughs> so now I'm going to do a lovely large blob on top of each cupcake. And we've still got a little bit of caramel left, so we better use it. So I'm going to do a drizzle across each cupcake. Next up, I have put that little bit of white icing that we saved into another piping bag. This time I've gone for a star nozzle because I want to make it look like a little blob of whipped cream. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So on the top of each cupcake, a very small, but cute and necessary whippy cream. And you may think that this is probably quite enough decoration, but I don't think so. <laughs> and you've probably also been staring at this bowl of mini street waffles that I've had on the surface this whole time. Although when we started, there was definitely more in this bowl. Now it's either Day, Nikki or Sam. Hmm. <laughs> Put your votes in the description box below. Anyway, I'm gonna to top each one with a mini street waffle. Okay, fine, that is enough. <laughs> I think they look absolutely beautiful, super decadent. They smell incredible. This, re I know, I say I'm gonna make a mess every week, but I mean, I'm definitely gonna make a mess this time. Because I wanna get into that scent a bit, but my mouth's not as big as Dane's. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It really is the perfect combo of coffee and caramel. At first, you bite it and you get a coffee hit, and then once that's gone, you're left with this really smooth caramel flavor in your mouth, which is absolutely divine. 
And like I said, if you don't like coffee, you've got to try it. You've got to try it for me. Come on, please, because <laughs> I really think I can convert some of you coffee haters to coffee lovers. And then when you do, you can come to CND Soho, and Georgia, who is just here, will make you the best caramel latte you have ever had. Mmm. Okay, <laughs> I will put the cupcake down just so I can tell you guys that these are gonna be in store all weekend. So if you're in London, then please head over to C&D Soho to grab yourself one or some other delicious treat that the guys will have in store for you as well. And next week, maybe next week, we might have Gemma back. I know you guys loved seeing her a couple of weeks ago at the beginning of the vegan cookie recipe that Dana and I did for you. Um, and she has been working on some recipes. There's this custard tart that she just keeps on banging on about. So I think it's probably gonna be that. <laughs> but she's super excited to be back here with you guys to bake again. And I know that you guys have missed her loads. So really awesome news. Um, what else can I tell you? Make sure you subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up as well because it really helps to spread the Crumbs and Doilies Cupcake Gemma news across the YouTube channel. And Gemma, hopefully, will see you next week. So make these cupcakes and enjoy. Mm. Mm -hmm.